Let us now discuss 700 series. SA 700, forming an opinion or report on financial statement. Distinguish between auditor's report and audit certificate. Distinguish between qualified report and an adverse report. State six basic elements of audit report. Explain the duties of auditors with respect to forming an opinion on financial statement. Bring out the importance of introductory paragraph and auditor's responsibility paragraph found in auditor's report. SS 705, modification to the opinion to the audit report. The auditor fails to obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence to form an overall opinion on the matters contained in financial statement. In the light of above statement, briefly explain the circumstance and the opinion expressed by the auditor where he is unable to obtain sufficient and appropriate audit evidence. Disclaimer of opinion. Write a note on manner of qualification in auditor's report. State the circumstances which could lead to any of the following in auditor's report. A modification of opinion, a disclaimer of opinion, adverse opinion, qualified opinion. When should qualified or adverse or disclaimer opinion be expressed? Write a note on qualified audit report and qualified opinion. State the circumstances in which qualified report is obligatory. Write a note on adverse or negative report. What are the circumstances which compel an auditor to issue such report? State briefly what is the disclaimer of opinion. An auditor of limited company given a client audit report on financial statement on the basis of Xerox copies of books of account, vouchers and other documents which were taken away by the income tax department in search under section 132 of the income tax act. SA 706, embassies matter paragraph and other information, other paragraph. Write a note on modified report. It embassies the matter that do not affect auditor's unqualified opinion. Discuss the disclosure pattern when auditor include an embassies of matter paragraph in auditor's report. SA 710, auditor's report, comparative information and corresponding figure. Define the terms. Comparative information, corresponding figures, and comparative financial statement. What are the auditor's duty with respect to corresponding figure? List auditor's procedure vis-a-vis -vis comparative information under SA 710. The extent of audit procedure performed on corresponding figure is less compared to the audit of current period figure reporting. Justify the statement with regard to auditor's duty for reporting of corresponding figure under SS 710. SS 720, auditor's responsibility with respect to other information documentation. Mention in brief auditor's duty with regard to the other information. What should an auditor do under SS 720 when identify material inconsistencies while reading the other information? This is our small discussion about SS 700 series. Thank you and have a nice day.